Just like a year ago, Delphus Jefferson and Spencerville meet in the Week 10 with the NWC title on the line. Bearcats are 9-0 this year, while Jefferson is 8-1, the lone loss coming to Coldwater. Both teams and both coaches know each other well, and as this rivalry intensifies, there's certainly a little extra juice heading into the regular season finale. Yeah, you know, it is Spencerville week, and there's a little bit more excitement that comes along with that. It's a great rivalry, and uh, it's a very respectful rivalry. You have a lot of respect for their coaching staff and players. It's a big game, and we plan on taking care of business as usual. It's going to be a hard-hitting game, and we're really excited. Very focused. Uh, our kids are excited as, as always, but um, understanding that this is a, a really good team that we're playing and that uh, we have to have our focus on what they're doing. I mean, clearly there's a lot more hype, it's the title game and all that, but try not to think about that too much and just playing our best game. With a victory, Spencerville can claim its first NWC title since 1996 and complete their first 10-0 regular season since 1963. Meanwhile, Jefferson is seeking its third straight Northwest Conference title. So needless to say, both teams want to win really bad. Well, it'd be monumental. I think it'd be something that would be a major accomplishment for our kids. It would be a goal that we set you know, back in the spring, and uh, it would be great for the community as well. My senior year, uh, never been a uh, conference championship in football before. So I mean, that's going to be new for everyone. It'd mean the world to everybody. It would be third time I'd be Spencerville in my high school career, and it would be awesome because it would be our three-peat for the NWC title. For me, it's it would be the, the joy of seeing your seniors win it because um, you know, that's what I'm focused on, really. I want to see these guys um, be able to get a title. They're a great group. They've been so, so much fun to work with. These two teams have been dominant on both sides of the ball this year. The Bearcats edged the Wildcats offensively, averaging 47 points per game compared to Jefferson's 40. But Delphus has the top defense, allowing just nine points per contest. I think they average about 430 yards a game. And uh, to do that, you have to be on the field quite a bit, not making mistakes. So uh, the simplest thing is the hardest thing to do, which is you have to stop them. Uh, we just need to execute. Um, we are both similar offenses. People that make the less mistakes will win the football game. we got to raise our level of play, be more physical. Every week it's the same, same old thing but we just got to want it more than them. Although it's a team sport, it becomes a one-on-one -on -one battle. It becomes you against the guy across from you. I, I think you know that's, that's the biggest key is, is to beat the guy across from him. Last year, Jefferson shut out Spencerville 21 to nothing. We just learned from it. You know, you, you look back and you look at what if, you know, we should have done this, we should have done that better. And, you know, I don't think we look at it as something that, um, that we can't overcome. We look at it as how can you learn from it and how can you improve from it. It's going to be a hyped up game for sure, just like last year. I think uh, that it's going to be more intense this year because we're both going to be in the playoffs this year, so we'll see each other again. It's a great way to start it. We have to play every week from here on out just like we're going to play this week. You definitely have a playoff atmosphere to it as far as preparing for the postseason. You know we'll deal with that next week. It's, it's, it's really just focused on a week 10. We want to win an NWC title. That's been our goal from the beginning. Delphus Jefferson, the last game, is definitely a, a great way to, to go into the playoffs. With the Bearcats and Wildcats, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.